repair video for 19581 broad acres out in Clinton township uh first obviously clean out the flower bed got all the weeds make sure the bushes are all right but you can see a lot of weeds growing in between um up to bill or not um but if we're gonna clean up the outside it's a decent neighborhood i would say one two three four maybe five bags of mulch they have i think like five for ten just to clean up the front and the same thing with this tree if you just trim a little bit down to clean it up all the weeds along the side of the house i'll build this so i want to show you one major issue with this wall is if you see it's actually curving out i mean they have cemented it before um, but when i get in the back you'll see it's getting worse um has it moved since i last seen it i'm not sure we'll find out in a second um, always guys clean the gutters check make sure they're cleaned out weeds we don't want to get hit with that fix the fence put it back on properly get rid of the rotors um, any screens that one looks all right the side screen door does need to be rescreened uh, the grass needs to be cut there is trash in here take it on trash day and I also have some bags in the basement that I wasn't able to get um, I got the trailer full of the two by fours and all that stuff when I ripped out ripped out um, but there's some bags to take care of them for me especially with you guys that have trucks um, clean the weeds along the house these screens are fine um, so I want to show you here is it doesn't look like it's moved since the last time someone sealed it but that could be stained to the top brick um, that's the only thing I'm nervous about in this house and that's what I really need you to look at Bill maybe it, it is stepping out a little farther um, especially before we run it I'd rather see if we could take care of it now and it's kind of a neighborhood thing because I've noticed that in a lot of other houses as you see in their house it's step, the bricks starting to step away from it um, all this comes on hopefully the long guy just comes through and runs it all over make sure you don't hit the bike throw that away any loose branches along the side trim up the fence line same thing with here anything hanging just to get it out of the way um, but yeah you can even see on their house the bricks I think it's just the way these houses were built um, I've went halfway down the street and noticed it um, so let's go upstairs first in the kitchen obviously you need a new globe maybe once you put the globe up it should balance it out if not you just buy the little weights for the blades and it'll balance it out that way um, blinds obviously you leave them for now um, take off any bad ones but I would clean up all those bugs there caulk the countertop clean 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 the drawers the cabinets they're not too shabby um, I don't know what that dust was from but clean that up um, I left the bag that's one of the bags I figure you guys can fill that up um, everything needs to be repainted on the wall side uh, walls and maybe moldings I would go around and hit the moldings um, ceilings look to be fine these cabinets just need to be cleaned um, obviously right there you can just wipe that off uh, this door was rubbing a little bit yeah right there on the bottom see then it rubs there so the very bottom the very bottom and the bottom side um, transition strip <clears throat> nail it down the floors are clean um, I would go through and just uh, mop them and then throw another coat of gloss poly on there just to bring out the shine. Um, I'm gonna change the bottom lock uh, before I walk out of here. Um, screen's missing in the front, so please get that taken care of. Oh, it's got a roll down screen. Um, so we'll just have to see if that's actually functional. Um, paint the floor grate, the return air, and then you're gonna do latte in here, latte in the hallway, um, closets, are not bad clean them up you really might not even need paint here you probably just need to clean this this is that melamine board it'll just wipe clean um hallway paint first bedroom tenant damage she said they were here um i obviously don't know unless i watched my other video this one's not too shabby i don't know maybe if you would fill it do a little golden oak and just touch up the spot that would be the best bet um Closet in here is fine. They got some poly on the door frame paint that And I don't know how the heck you get a sticker on there Well, so they just decided to sticker up that the stamp So try to get some goo gone get that off and if you have to run another coat of poly on there, please do so yeah, they did the room 
So we paint this room, light bulbs everywhere where they're just, they just decided not to put light bulbs in. Yeah, so all of them, clean it up. I don't know what the heck's going on with that bulb. All right, so that's off. It was good, it's just locked. Uh, door on this side is fine. Hallway needs a new bulb. There's a hole down there that was kind of damaged his foot, patch it. Uh, another door has a hole. She said her son just leaned into it. I told her that's kind of damage. So you will need to replace this with a new Luan door and try to stain it to match the rest of them. Um, back bedroom, there's a globe, put it up. Obviously the light bulbs. Uh, paint, just, um, looks like just the walls and some of the mold. I'll go over the moldings really quick. And then I tell people, because these are not going to stop kids from putting it through the wall. Get actual door stops on a couple of them. It just saves us from patching stuff later on in life. Um, let's see, in back bedroom, let's just patch some holes, repaint the walls, touch up the moldings. This one you will need to do, uh, clean up along the bottom. It's semi, you might be able to hit that and be done. Oop, I'm going back over, um, fix that. Put a washer on the back side, and then you should be good. Yeah, it's not a big hole. Whoa, well, there it goes. That's just ghetto. So that's coming down. All right, patch those holes. Bathroom, repaint. Now you're doing a latte throughout. Bill said it's fine. And here, um, if you have that blue with you, I would recommend if it's fine with Bill, just leave the ceiling white and then do our um, that online color. Or he sent you a new code to get from Depot. Just to freshen this up because the white looks Kind of horrible in here. Patch where they had a towel bar before. Take that towel bar and put it on this wall. Okay. And then get a new TP roll. New toilet seat. This flapper watch, keeps sticking. Now they do make just a regular rubber one instead of this plastic. Um, so I would recommend getting that. Clean the tub. Check everything. Get the sticker off of the ring. And then get all the same light bulbs. Clean out the medicine cabinet, please. Clean the sink. I have looking. You can get the child safety stuff off of there. Very good. Just clean all that stuff out. Um, clean the floor. And I did want you to get some regular grout, whatever white that matches, and fill the grout anywhere that there is cracks because it's an issue when we don't do that, that the wall starts coming apart. I'd rather the walls not come apart. And paint this door too. Paint that exterior door too. Going downstairs, you're gonna paint. You can touch up white along there. Um, and then paint the latte. And then clean that. Vacuum this. That's just missing a piece of carpet. So if you have a brown laying around or some latte, hit that. Um, I don't know what the hell they did with some of this stuff. I guess at this point we're just going to leave it. Unless Bill tells you different, you will need some ceiling tiles. Uh, the walls here now, um, they were always left um, bare. Put T111 up. That was uh, straight from Bill. So go, you know, all these walls that are bare here, all the way up to the ceiling. Same thing with over there, clean up the drywall and go all the way to the wall. Make a notch for the beaver dry I put in and just go flush with the wall. Um, these are supported. You might need a new ceiling tile here just to go on an L like that just to keep it flush. Had it come down because of the, all the walls came down so we could put the beaver dry in. Um, I don't have my cutoff tool with me and I figured you guys would be here. So cut these off, the nails down there going down. The blocks here are to support the track now. Um, I still have to come down and put covers on here there was outlets on the wall and i junction boxed where they had those i left some dry lock dry lock cement um, as we were pulling down some of the cement came off of here so you can patch those in um, and just give a little texture with a wet rag or whatever it'll give it a little dimple you know dip, dimple texture same thing with any of this loose stuff that's on you guys when you paint the walls um, a few spots there um, the glue is not going to come off your best bet is to uh, get some good cement paint, masonry paint with primer, and so those don't bleed through. 
and I would even recommend tinting it. Um, even if you do our upstairs bathroom wall color, tint it down here. Um, this floor, you have to call and ask Bill. It's never been painted. Most likely we're gonna leave it bare. So that way if it does leak, we do not have to repaint the floor. If it does leak when you guys are here working, just let me know. Um, it rained the last couple days since I put this down and I have not had no water. This is where it normally comes in there and all along there where that wall's trash on the outside. But it's been good. So storage room, fix the ceiling tiles that are bad. There's some behind the door too. Um, clean this all up and then rewrap this uh, AC pipe. So I'm thinking the condensation is causing all this. So fix that and take your vacuum and clean out the window wells. All of them. Um, missing tile there, I can't find. I don't think I had one there. Excuse me. Um, in here we will repaint the floor gray because it's already been gray. If you can for me, just patch that. It's already cut. It just snapped when I was cutting there. I didn't have the nails on me, so tack that up and nail it. Um, otherwise in here, replace the ceiling tiles that have stains on them. Why they're stained, could not tell you. There's nothing above it. Um, so there, put a full one here and then just tack that back up. Change the furnace filter. Um, this was also, I believe, on the city list. The dehumidifier, why do um, They don't want this anymore, so either you can get the insulated, I would just recommend get the insulated duct, put it from here to there, and then from there to there, and that'll give them um, air in a basement and get proper covers. Change the furnace filter, please. Uh, in here, yes, repaint the floor throughout here. I gotta see why the heck this is leaking. I must have a loose connection in my hose. Um, but I put this here just because in that way it's out of the tennis way and it's right to a floor drain. They can't touch, you know, that shouldn't be in their way to touch it. Um, get rid of the foil dryer vent. You might as well just get the regular aluminum now. If you can. Um, but I would get it to bend back and against the wall. But you know what? I think Clint Township might not. You can just get the flex rigid for Clint Township. Um, so that, and then clean laundry tub. I think we're done in here. And that's it. And like I said, this is the trash. It's basically the foam that came apart. And ceiling tiles. If you can't get it out, then call me. I'll come back and get it. Um, that's the drain for the Beaver Dry. Um, if I forgot anything, just let Bill know. Thanks.